Hello, Greg from Balloon Markets here, and welcome to BMTV. Now, I'm not sure who this is because it's been a while since he's been here, but I think his name is Mark Drury from Pioneer. <laughs> that is right, isn't it? It's Mark that, that's Drury. Great, yeah. yeah, very nice to meet you, Greg. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. It's been so long. Those of you that have been regulars of BMTV only for the last few months might not recognize Mark, but Mark has done a lot of filming, a lot of BMTV with us since uh, we started four years ago, isn't it, really? So, uh, but it, he's, he's been busy for <laughs> the last few months. I, I don't know what he's been doing. But anyway, we're really glad, kind of, that you're back. <laughs> so, anyway. Mark, what are we going to be doing today? After that amazing introduction, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I'm going to get you working today. You're going but to get me doing something? Yeah, but I think what we're going to do okay. is that we're going to... Uh, <laughs> we're going to start to, to investigate and play with putting acrylic paints inside deco bubbles. Okay, I've seen a few people doing this on the Facebook groups and stuff. I've seen yeah. paint. I don't know if it's acrylic paint, I don't really know, but I've seen a few pictures like that. Doing the and, and I don't know where it was actually invented. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know who originally started to to do this. I know that a lot of people use balloons in art to actually dip into the paint okay. and actually create uh, uh, paintings based upon dipping a balloon into art and then okay. uh, and then pressing it onto paper. Yeah. So maybe then at the end somebody looked at the balloon and thought, "Wow, that looks quite yeah. cool." Yeah. Um, uh, but I thought we'd uh, uh, have a go and I've put a few system ideas together to make it less messy. And to, and to give you a bit of control. Okay, so you're not really demonstrating so much today putting paint in a balloon. Not as my idea, but actually uh, in the how-to. You've, you've, you've played and, and figured yeah. out what you think is quite a good system yeah. to do it yeah. in a clean manner. <laughs> in as clean as I could I, I keep could doing get. this today, in yeah. a clean <laughs> manner. Yeah, okay. Well, um, but it might get messy because I'm going to hopefully have a bit of a, a, a paint off with you. Okay, with me. Yeah. So you're going to get me to do that. All right. Okay. So if we've got an example of the type of thing over to your right. So this is just a, a, a acrylic paint inside a deco bubble. And as you see, there's, it's quite, we can put patterns, we can do, uh, we can do lots of different things. And really the imagination is the only thing stopping you doing whatever you want yeah, to do here. Yeah. Um, uh, and I just went down to a local uh, uh, hobby style shop and, and bought some paints and, and started to, to practice. So these are just normal paints that you can, are they oil based? Are they water based? Well, I've based? chose to use water based paint. Okay. So uh, I've chose to use a, 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 a number of different uh, uh, styles. Um, probably the best to show you is something like something like that. It says it's water-based, uh, and I think that's probably the safest inside a deco bubble. Okay. Uh, deco bubbles need to be kept moist. Yeah. Uh, the paint dries from evaporating in air. Um, so you know, so the moisture's trapped. The moisture's trapped in the paint. Then it will. It will go into the, the the balloon itself. It won't harm the balloon. Okay. Um, so I'm avoiding things that have got strong chemicals in them, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I have a relatively quick drying time. Yeah. Okay. So um, we can we can we can use this one actually if you want to. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have a go. So one of the first things you'll see is uh, as you take that off, you'll see that it's it's a, a, a runny liquid style uh, uh, paint. Well, I don't want to pour it out. But. Um, but as you can see in there, or hopefully see in there, uh, you get a lot of residue of paint in, oh, yeah, in, okay. in the end here. And there's a, a little flip cap that allows you to then uh, uh, to, to pour it out onto yeah. a canvas before you use it, um, which isn't ideal for balloons. So what I thought I'd do is, is, is play around using a pipette uh, mm. and, and see if we could make a system that allowed you to place the paint exactly where you wanted it to. Okay. Um, so this is just a standard, very inexpensive pipette. And as you can see, the pipette is tapered up to the bulbous area that you, you suck up paint with. Yeah. Um, so what I thought I'd do, I mean, you could just suck the paint out of there and dip it in if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah, okay. But what I thought I'd do is to cut just above the area yeah. there. Okay. So I've got a lip that yeah. I, can, I, I can use. And then uh, for the sake of being really clean and tidy um, and not having any excess on, I wipe the inside of the cap out. Can you see the amount yeah. of paint that's yeah. on the inside of the cap? Um, now I'm not gonna get all of it, but I'll get some of that there so that when you put the pipette through 
to the other end. I've still got some, so I think you've... I will still have some okay. of it on. You can, right. be, you can be a bit cleaner if you, if you want to. You can then re-screw the ah. cap on. Oh, that's a bit clever. And then you just clean your pipette down. Is that what you've been doing for months, figuring this out? Uh, not months. This, this, this was a very, uh, a very short period of time. Okay. Um, but yeah, I should say, shouldn't I? I should say, give it the value. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. You've uh, been, I've, you've I've been, been working on this for months. Which is Craig. why you've not had time to come down here. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> There's a theme that's going to continue <laughs> all through the day. Oh yeah, it? absolutely. Um, pipettes are sealed at the end. Uh, so again, I'm just going to cut the end off of that so where can you get these are these just from our supply shops as well Art supply shops i believe chemists you can you, oh, can, get, okay. you can get them from all, all sorts of places uh I, I imagine a bulk supply is a cheap way to do it this particular one came as a pack of three yeah uh, and very inexpensive maybe we'll start supplying those could be could be interesting um uh, so once that's in there as you, uh, as you can see we can start to press on and you can see that you can push the paint up without getting any and that's paint not, and that's anywhere not squidging else. out of the it's not squidging out of the sides it's, uh, really clever. it's nice and tight and i just find that really easy and simple to do it's smarter than you look you know <laughs> <laughs> um also sorry, sorry. because you know i have you to time. get i know <laughs> i have to get a 160 or 260 into everything i do it yeah. has to be done yeah. um so i'm just going to knot off uh, a 160 fairly close to the to the neck end and cut away the excess um acrylic paint dries really quickly yeah so once you've used it um i just use my 160 um using the bead end so that it's nice and easy to roll the bead end down and actually cover the cap is with my 160 so that the air is isn't going to continually so we, go we, off we can add this to our series of what can you do with a 160 <laughs> exactly okay brilliant so should we have a go at doing some painting yeah okay all right, a little bit scared, yeah. but yes, let's do it. Shall I do one first and then? Yeah, uh, please, because I've no idea on. what I'm doing. Okay. I okay. genuinely have not seen Mark do this, so I am quite nervous. So this is just one of our 20-inch uh, clear deco bubbles. Discard our waste and open this up. Now, because, again, I, 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 have, I don't know the science to this really, mm -hmm. but I, I know that the acrylic plate will need some form of air to dry okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to drop a little bit of air into the uh, uh, uh to the deco bubble so when uh, you say that you mean instead of just putting some helium in instead there. of solely using helium in okay. there and then i've got some of these that i've prepared earlier i'm going to take off my 160 mm -hmm. and then we can just place this through open the neck up place this through the neck and you could you can pull the balloon. You can see because it's fairly clean. I'm not actually yeah. putting any paint directly in the balloon until I'm ready. Ooh. And you don't need a great deal. And then you're out. You can recap, recap the end, and keep things nice and. Mm -hmm. Nice and relatively clean, keep some tissue ready to, to do. And then I've just got an old card here. And then you can start to just feather out and just make some shapes inside. I quite like the one you've done because it's quite minimal. There's not a lot, you've only gone from the bottom but you can do it wherever you want you, on the that, And that's the point of just showing, just showing this as a, a, as a basic idea. And you don't want too many hard lines. You want it to be quite natural. Yeah, yeah. Really. Organic, um, one might say. <laughs> well, it kind I, of is, isn't it? It it's, is, but it's, it's an overused word. Artistic, shall okay, we say. Okay, all right. Let's, let's move away from organic to artistic. <laughs> At some point, you'll say organic, and you won't be able to... No, be, oh, that's an old hat <laughs> um, uh, And I'm going to use another colour. Do you think organic's still, still got legs? Uh, I think it will. I think it's become uh, uh, something that's... That, that, that's really interesting long term there yeah um i i think it will be a different style of uh, of what we now know as uh, as, as classic decor you know i yeah. mean it's gonna it's gonna last yeah um i 
I did see something on the instant gram, as people of my age say. I'm only joking, anybody that is of my age, 40. <coughs> um, that uh, bubblegum balloons. Hello, bubblegum balloons, by the way. Oh, hello, ladies. They, they, they've got 100,000 subscribers on their, their, their Instant gram. That's incredible, and isn't it? I saw what they did to the outside <laughs> yeah, of their building. Yeah. It um, is wonderful, yeah, isn't wow. it? Wow. Yeah, very well done there. So I'm just going to... You can play with this and do something that, that is really... I just want the colours to mix in the centre there. Just to... Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, just to give it something a little bit different. Get in there now. Something that we're happy with. I like that, yeah. yeah. And then once you're ready, um, we're going to inflate as normal. But before I inflate, I'm just going to put a little bit more air in here. Because I want that paint to, I want that paint to start to dry. Yeah. And then we're going to use our helium in the same way as we would normally do with a normal deco bubble. Trigger outlet. What do you think? That's very interesting. Just something that is different. And I think I've made a, a, a simple way for people to, to have a go at doing this. I think it's, it's the, well, let's see how simple it is. Because if I'm going to have a go, it's going to have to be simple. So what shall I do? Shall I, uh, Choose, we've got some uh, different deco bubbles there. Um, we've got some brand new colors for you to play with. Um, you can use more than one color. And uh, Can I use this one? Do you think that, that'd look good? I, I, 24. I, it's, it's your art now. Nobody can, it's art. Nobody can tell you it doesn't look good. Have, have you ever done, you know, pottery painting? Have you ever done that? <laughs> I have once, yeah. I, I, my cup that I use in the office is pottery painting. People say, oh, did one of your daughters do that? No, <laughs> it was me. So that's how bad I am from an artistic point of view. So let's see, let's see what I can come up with. Oh, so this is a bigger one, this is 24 inch. 24 inch there, it gives you more room to, and more of a canvas. Okay, I do like these. I love the fact that I've got great work in. This is amazing. This is a first. <laughs> Mark did comment, we were doing some training yesterday, fundamentals training, and, and Mark commented that I was actually showing people how to do stuff. It's only taken four and a, four and a bit years for me to, BMTV, for me to actually understand something. Okay, so I've just got to remove my excess and then you can do yeah. whatever adornments that you'd, yeah. you'd like there. That's cool. All right, I'm going to have a go. going to have a go. Yeah. What colours? I think I've got to go green. Go green. Because it's a, a green sort of thing. You know, my girls are going to want me to bring some bubbles and acrylic <laughs> paint home, don't you? So if you want to, you could just do just have it in the middle. Blobs. You could. Is, are you suggesting that I do? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not telling you how to do your own art. Sorry. I'm. I'm. I'm no, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to put quite a big blob in the middle. For what? You've got a 24-inch balloon, so you've got plenty of lift. I mean, you have to consider the lift of yeah. the balloon. You're adding weight every time you do this. Put a little blob down. Now, go back up to there. My oh. advice is just to use the balloon itself to wipe. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. And then you won't get any splatters anywhere else when you remove it. You know what? I might just continue that down. Oh, you like that, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making it up as I go. Okay. Oh, no. Well, I made a mess here. How did I do that? Oh, did some come out there? Did I do it wrong, Mark? Don't worry, Will. I don't know exactly what you did, but it's all, it's all a learning curve, Greg. All right. Okay, so this is experimental technology is what we're dealing with here. But that's, that's fine, that's fine. Let's do another colour. So, how am I going to get this through without getting it on the green? I, I told you I'd get messy. <laughs> so do you reckon that came up through the... I think just make sure it's tight. And then the, the screw head yeah. is tightened onto the pipette then. Okay. And you shouldn't have to press too hard. Be, be gentle on, the, okay. on, on how much well, you I've got, I've got to go through this bit of green. That's that, fine. Is that going to be all right? That's, That's fine. Just, just. Uh... 
This is beautiful, Greg. Mm. Okay. Oh no, I've got green on it. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pink near the green. Oh, beautiful. Uh, you don't know yet. <laughs> We need some of that art music, don't we? Yeah, I reckon I just didn't that I wasn't screwed on. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna squidgy it. Where's your, your credit card? Oh, it's got a motorbike on it. Do you still ride your motorbike? I do, when I get time. I've obviously been way too 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 busy. Well, I'm glad to hear that. It's not because if I said that I was me, riding my bike and, 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 and not seeing you, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? Oh, I, I, I'm expecting this to be seen in the Tate Modern. <laughs> this is awesome. This is fun. You can see little workshops now downstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it like you did a little bit there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go asymmetric, Mark. Okay, love asymmetric. it. Asymmetric. I've got to do a bit more up here. No idea what it's going to look like, but oh, you know, it means I'm going to get it's all right. I can wipe it off. It's only your water based, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, a bit more air. That's that should be fine. Yeah, look, a bit messy. Go on, then you do the, the hard bit. It's not hard, you know that. It looks like a, a seahorse or something, maybe, or a horse. Which is exactly what I was going for. It's a unicorn. It's a, it's a, <laughs> a pink and green <laughs> unicorn. I mean, how you did that that's, just, that's just on your first attempt. It's what I was going for, Mark. It's I think I that's incredible. For. So, but you, you can see, I mean, the effect is amazing. Mm. The colours are really, really strong. Um, uh, some advice is, is, is to you know, unless you are aiming for that. That's, that's the snout, that's exactly okay, what snout. I was, I was, I was <laughs> aiming for. Is, is maybe to, to try and get an even coat yeah, yeah. Um, uh, around, but I think, that's, I think that's an amazing effort. I think you're right though, I think there's no rules to this sort of there's stuff. There's no rules and at all. where's it gonna go? How are people gonna use it? What effects are people going to yeah. create and discover themselves having a play and doing it? And I, I think that's what's exciting about this sort of thing. It's how organic, I'm guessing, is, is developed. It, it, it's, it's art. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there you go. There's your... I'm, 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 I'm quite proud of that. So this is a bit unusual. We filmed this show yesterday, and then Mark and I went out for a bike ride, which was very nice, wasn't it? Yeah. In the New Forest. Saw some nice New Forest ponies. Um, exhausted me. The guy's really fit. And um, <laughs> then he had an epiphany. I think it was all the exercise. He had an epiphany last night. The oxygen. Night. Yeah, and, you, and you, you had an idea, didn't you? I did, uh, yeah. Using this technique, and it's this. It's putting a handprint inside a balloon. And how do you do that, I hear you ask? Well, Mark, how did you? Well, first of all, before I ask you how you did it, can't you just put acrylic paint on the outside? You can, and actually you probably get a more um, ideal copy of a hand yeah. if you did so. But then it takes time to dry. Mm -hmm. You've got paint on children's hands. It could be all over the shop, all over your clothes. It's very messy. Yeah. And, uh, and I thought there's got to be another way that we could make an impression yeah. without have anybody having to touch paint. I really like it as well because it's, it's really shiny. It looks really shiny. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. So anyway, show us how you did it. Okay, so uh, we've got our clear deco bubble. We're gonna put some air in here so that we separate the um, uh, uh, two pieces of the material. Yep. Uh, I, I want to, when I'm putting the paint inside, I wanna be working on a single, a single four and a single sheet. Okay, so I've got some air in there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I then want to make an impression of mine or the customers of the child's hand, okay? So I'm gonna get my hand wet. Is that a special kind of liquid? Yeah, it's uh, special water all the way from the new forest. <laughs> At the tap. At the tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just gonna make my hand impression onto the kitchen towel. Okay. So I've got a hand impression there, um, and you can see roughly then where 
you need the blobs of paint. Okay. Okay. Um, so now that we need to um, make sure you've got, using the same system as before, uh, make sure you've got a nice clean tip because you don't want to put paint where you don't want it inside the balloon. Yeah. Uh, and so you've probably got to be a bit more accurate with this. You've got to spend we a bit more time now and a bit more accurate. And I'll put the end in and then I've got to gather the, the, the balloon and I've got to actually place the paint where I need to where I need to be. So you've got to try and hold the balloon as down as yep. close as possible to where it's going to be. Um, but while, while you're doing that, Mark, I'm going to ask the question of the week because okay. I know you're concentrating. The question of the week this week, you've seen this technique, Mark's obviously doing this right now and the techniques we did on the previous ones. What, what do you think you would be able to design with, with this technique? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. I'm really interested to find out what people can do. Yeah, and I'm sure there's lots and lots of other ideas that people will have on how to get the most out of this. So you're just putting that wherever there's... Wherever there's, there's some, um, some, some water. Some here's water that's, that's, that's touched the side. We should point out that there's no way this is going to be an absolute accurate representation. I think <laughs> it's... That's impressive, though. That's impressive with... We're well, using, that. That, using that technique. I'm, I'm not just tipping it in. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've now got something that you can see is, is, is a rough uh, yeah. handprint. And now the moment of truth. Yeah. So when you press down, it's important to make sure that the valve is nice and clear so that air can be released so you can get a good okay. uh, imprint. And you're going to have to move the child's hand around a little bit once it touches. Okay. How fantastic. And um, now we can inflate. So I'm just going to, I think we've probably got enough air in there now. Right. Going to heal him on. Pre prepare your 160Q so you're ready to tie. And then, of course, you could personalise that as well with your vinyl. With your you? vinyl, and you can put so an age, name, and a name, and a name, whatever. And I just think that's, I just think that's really cool. That's brilliant. Well, Mark, thank you so much for having that epiphany and showing us that. As I say, question of the week: What do you think you could do with this technique? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Mark, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>